So just about a month back, I posted a, a two-part video. It was on a blue prism Chet Holmgren. And uh, one, it was just a demo on how to crack a PSA uh, slab and it got a lot of attention. And then the next video I did was, it was a seven and I just like didn't agree with it. So I cracked it out, cleaned it up. I had a lot of buzz on these videos. I mean, on my all, all my social channels is probably over 150,000 views. So I got to follow up with you, right? So here's the thing. Here's the upfront contract on this. I'm not trying to create a post to like annoy or like draw up a bunch of like annoyance towards grading companies. I think grading companies are great. I like them a lot, you know, and I think that they do an overall great job. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is if people can make mistakes, you might not agree with an evaluation, but if you're a person that grades cards and you think a card looks amazing and you get a seven on it, you know, you uh, definitely trust your trust your instincts, you know, and if it needs to be broken out and reevaluated, I highly suggest you do that. So I'm going to stop here. It's going to pick up from the last video. Stay to the end so you can see the, the final follow up. All right. So check it out. This one's kind of a weird one. So this is the PSA 7 Chet that I cracked out and I just wanted to like go over it again because I couldn't figure out why the card got a seven. And like, I got the light all over the back. It's not dirty, there's no scratches. There's not even any of those annoying little print lines. Oh, let me get some focus on these corners here. Looking good there. I was kind of confused by this one. So like I looked it over and it's sharp. And then like the front, it's kind of got like those, it almost looks like it's a drapery in the background. You see how it's like the, it's multiple colors back there. But I thought that's just like part of the texture. Cause look at the front of the card. It's not on the card. And the only little imperfection I can see like a little blemish wise is like this little, there's like a little dot right, right there. But pretty strange, because to me, that looks pretty centered. I mean, looks good to me. You know, and then the back looks really centered, too. I always look between there and there, top to bottom. Well, it wasn't a PSA slip, so I'm just going to give the, the front and back a, another cleaning, and maybe we'll just get it better than a, a PSA 7. Once in a while, you know, or... Sometimes you get some of those back that just make you scratch your head. And my advice is if that does happen to you, just trust your instincts. You know, if I sent in a card to get, to get graded that was um, had a few blemishes on it and I was aware of it, I'd, I'd understand. But when it's a pretty much a brand new card and you can't really identify much with it, getting a seven is kind of weird. Front is super shiny. Corners, edges. All right, so that looks good. Let's do the back. Yeah, I think that that's as, that's as good as we're going to get it. I don't know what else to do. So hopefully better than a 7 next time around. So if you feel it, guys, and you just are like, hey, I don't think that's right. You know, maybe it was just, you know, an off day for the grader or something. I don't know. But don't be shy. You can crack it open and try again. And then if you want to control, help control the population report, save these up. And you can send these in an envelope to, like, PSA afterwards. And they'll take it out of circulation. All right, guys. Hope that helps. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Gear. Thank <laughs> you.